tonight is the night of the really, really strong aurora. The strong. In fact, look behind me. Can you see what is going on right behind me? We had a couple of days ago. We had an alert, a forecast for the strongest auroral display to hit the air since 2005. Now. Um, it comes in, in, in um, separate uh, waves, so it's like a, a coronal mass ejection coming off the sun and all that material hits the magnetic field of the earth and it causes these amazing... Look at it, if you can see it behind me. This is absolutely unbelievable. I'm sorry if this video, there's a lot of traffic noise because I'm actually on a motorway bridge and the reason why I've come here is because when normally you're looking for the aurora, you're looking towards the north. Now, towards my north here is a service station called Lancaster Services. Forted. It's got a building there that's uh, quite uh, quite interesting. It's an old building and uh, it's called the Pennine Tower. And I thought if I could go there and capture the aurora, hopefully it's nice and clear as well. Luckily enough, it's a Friday night. We had this alert. We had a red alert earlier before it got dark. And I thought, I'm going to go there and see if I can get some light trails. I'm showing sure you a picture now of what I mean. So this is what I took earlier. Tried to give you an idea of what I mean. Okay, now there was me taking pictures and not seeing anything. All I was seeing was twilight. Now that was around about, probably about half past ten. Now, of course, twilight is coming into our skies at the moment. But I was taking all these pictures. The sky was getting a bit darker, but wasn't seeing anything, even though we had a red alert. I should be able to pick something up of the Aurora. It would be great if I could get that shot over there with the service station and the light trail. I did get some nice shots, actually, in the crescent moon as well. So that's looking not quite north. I would probably say m more towards the north, northwest. But when I turned round towards the east, that was when I saw the sky light up. Oh my goodness, and that, where we're looking now, that way, that is towards the east, and that's where I first saw the aurora, oh my goodness. Now you're going to have to excuse the traffic noise, because I am above a busy motorway, and we're looking towards the Fortin services at Lancaster, we can see the crescent moon over there going down. And if I turn the camera around, what do we see here? That's my star bus just over there, by the way, with the lights on just by the side of the road. Look at this! It's the Aurora Borealis, and it's straight overhead. Oh my God, just look at that. That is insane. Wow, doesn't that look absolutely amazing? So we're now looking towards the south and in the UK you're not supposed to see the aurora looking south because it doesn't really appear in that part of the sky. Sorry about the traffic noise, it's really busy. But look at that, there it is. All the way to the other side we've got a purple We've got green. I can actually see. I can actually see the colour, folks. I can actually see the colours. Well, how about that? Absolutely amazing. You're going to have to uh, excuse me for this very hastily put together video because I wasn't even thinking of doing a video. In fact, I wasn't even that confident that we were going to see the aurora, but a couple of days ago they did forecast that there was going to be a very very strong storm we have multiple cmes coming in and the forecast was to be one of the highest that we'd ever seen I even see the colors i can see the greens i can see the purples it's absolutely amazing and it's still going off right now i don't know if you can see i don't know if you can see can you see that look at that it's still going off and if i turn this way Look, look, and if I go overhead, look, look, look at that, it's overhead, oh my god, look, that is absolute, I'm pointing the camera straight up now, folks, look at that, 
I'm just going to put a quick time lapse on now that I took earlier of the Aurora overhead. I'm just going to speed it up a little bit. Oh my goodness, it looks absolutely epic on this air. Well, what about that, folks? Well, it all came good. Everything seemed to come right. The storm hit just as predicted. They did say that this first part of the storm would hit on the Friday, and it did. It actually started at about 6 p.m. our time, which that this display tonight is just off the scale. There is, I, I have never, I don't know if any other display has been that strong in this country before but certainly what I've seen tonight is equal to what you would get up in Iceland, up in Norway, um, Lapland, all that sort of anywhere, look at Canada.